Hello and welcome. Today we'll look at several day trading strategies for beginners. We'll cover the main rules. And we'll also see how to find high probability signals using the open price of the day. So, if you could, like, subscribe to the channel and stick around for the full video. The basis of every successful day trading strategy is good knowledge of daily price action. The basic info on daily price action is the daily open, high and low. The daily open is the price at which market opened. The high is the highest point that price reached during the day. And the low is the lowest point that price reached during the day. Although all three levels are important, for the current day, I'm mainly interested in the daily open price. According to the daily open price, you can forecast the trend direction for the rest of the day, the downtrend, the uptrend, or the sideways price action. In order to make it as easy as possible, I found this daily open indicator to have you easily read and analyze the price. You can find this daily open price on TradingView. Now you have a visual representation of the open price. If you look at the chart, you will notice how price never remains still around a daily open level, unless it's a sideways trend. That's because the opening price is one of the most important price levels for the day. Essentially, it represents the balance between bullish and bearish forces. That's why, when prices are above the opening price, the market is considered bullish. If prices fall below the opening price, the market is considered bearish. The opening price provides a standard support and resistance function on the price chart. When price action reaches the opening price, it could act as a support or resistance, or it could break the level and continue on intraday trend. Notice how price reacts at the daily open price. When market is active, price simply doesn't stay around the level of the daily open price, but forms down or uptrend above or under the line instead. So, this is the first thing you need to remember. The daily open line will become strong support or resistance during the trading day. This is very important and you should always check the level, regardless of which strategy you use. Support and resistance levels based on the daily open price level can be used just like traditional support and resistance levels. The key is to watch price action closely when these levels come into play. Should prices decline to support and then hold, you can look for a successful test and bounce off support. It often helps to look for a bullish chart pattern or a candlestick formation or an indicator signal to confirm an upturn from the support. Similarly, should prices advance to resistance and stall, you can look for a failure at the resistance and a decline. Again, you should look for a bearish confirmation or an indicator signal to confirm a downturn from resistance. All things considered, if you see price action approaching the opening price level on the chart, you should treat the situation as a normal trading level. Nonetheless, if the price starts hesitating when reaching this level and suddenly bounces in the opposite direction, you might then trade in the direction of the bounce. But if the price action breaks through the opening price level, then you could expect the action to continue in the direction of the breakout. What you need to know is that the open price sets the general tone for the price action. A move above the line is positive and shows strength, while a move below the line shows weakness. So how to trade using the open price? The location of the open price line on the chart represents an important information to be aware of because there's a high probability that will be reached. At the beginning of the day, I like to compare the value of the open price with the value of the previous day. If the current open price line is higher than the previous one, I only consider taking long entries during the day. If the current open price line is lower than the previous one, I consider taking only short entries. Basically, I want to find trends and to day trade the continuation in the direction of the short-term trend. I will sometimes miss huge moves in the opposite direction, but this filter will also save you many losing trades. I will also take into account the distance between the open price line, meaning the range. Open price lines located at a short distance one from another indicate a possible range. I avoid trading on markets where the most recent open lines are close, as price will most likely stay flat. 
and offer low probability entries. Just look at this example. The opening price is almost the same. Yes, we have some bounces, but we also have many false signals. If you trade when the distance between lines is narrow, change from a day trading perspective to a scalping one and try to get in, take some points and get out quickly. Opening price lines drawn at a larger distance between them indicate a trending market. This is what I like to see, a separation between lines, which means we have a short-term trend at least. And I don't like the line to be touched often. I don't want to see price moving above and below the line, crossing the line often. I want the opening line to be an obvious zone of support or resistance. When price reaches the area, I like to see a rejection or a momentum breakout. Also, when the distance between the opening price lines is too wide, you could also have a consolidation day. This means that we had an aggressive move the day before, a high average true range, so the market may pause the next day. While you can perfectly trade with this setup alone if you are good at reading price action, it's better to combine it with other trading tools. So let me show you several strategies involving the opening price line. First one is the pin bar rejection strategy. Trading with a trend is the best way to trade any market. And the pin bar entry signal, rejecting the opening price line in a trending market, can offer a high probability entry and a good risk to reward scenario. In this example, we can see a bullish pin bar that formed in the context of an uptrending market, right at the opening price line. This type of pin bar shows rejection of lower prices with a long lower tail. So it's called the bullish pin bar, since the implication of the rejection reflected in the pin bar is that the bulls will resume pushing the price higher. When trading a pin bar counter to or against the dominant trend, you should do so from a key chart level of support or resistance. And again, this is where the opening price is important. This key level, the opening price, adds extra weight to the pin bar formation. Have a look at this chart. We have a double pin bar setup against the trend, right at the opening price line. It's not uncommon to see back-to-back -back or double pin bar patterns to form at key levels in the market. These patterns are traded just like a normal pin bar, except they provide a little more confirmation since they reflect not one, but two consecutive rejections of the level. The second system is the exponential moving average high-low channel strategy. Price action naturally swings up and down over the course of a day, but these swings tend to stay within a certain range and thus create a general upward or downward trend. A moving average channel allows you to observe where the price is moving and time trades around the opening price line as they find additional support or resistance against the channel. I've talked about the moving average high-low channel in this video, so make sure you watch it after this one. Basically, instead of plotting one moving average based on the closing price, I started using a moving average channel. You will have two moving averages forming a channel, which are applied to the bar's high and low prices, instead of the bar's close price. This moving average channel will filter a lot of false signals, you know them well. When price closes above or below the moving average, you initiate a position and then immediately the price closes on the opposite side of the average. With the channel, you'll have an area, a safety net, and you'll reduce some market noise. Using a moving average channel, you remove the short-term fluctuations around the line and at the same time, knowing the overall direction and the trend of the market. When a price experiences a strong move, the price will have a tendency to track back to the moving average channel, but then continue the original direction it was moving. When the channel and the opening price line come together around the same price level, you get an area of value from which you can take your trades. 
a trading signal can be triggered when the price retreats to the moving average channel, in this case the 200 exponential moving average high-low area around the opening price line and reacts with a bounce. If you watch price action in real time, you will often see how the price slightly touches the moving average channel and in some cases the touch will also include the opening price line only to get forcefully rejected back in the opposite direction. When the moving average channel is trending upwards, you should consider buying when the price bounces off the channel and the opening price. The reverse applies when the channel is trending downwards, in which case you should be selling when the price rallies toward the channel and gets rejected there. If you find a pin bar, that's even a better signal. Remember the previous strategy. If you have a previous market swing around the area, offering another layer of confluence, again, even better. The third setup is the Hakanashi strategy. When you are day trading or scalping, candlestick charts may flip-flop constantly from a green bar to a red bar, but Hakanashi charts tend to have longer stretches of bars. This provides clearer highlighting and confirmation of current trends. While Hakanashi won't show the exact price all the time, there are some benefits to using these charts. The main advantage is that they look much smoother, which helps to identify the trending direction more easily. Hakenashi charts are also color-coded. As long as the price is rising, then the bars will show up as green. As long as the price is falling, then the bars will show up as red. If the price is above the opening price line, with the Hakenashi candle turning green from red, it indicates that the price is about to turn higher. So you want to trade green Hakenashi bars above the opening price line. If the price is below the line, and Hakenashi candle turns red, it indicates that the price is about to go down. Again, trade red bars below the line. Remember that green candlesticks with no lower shadow or wick indicate a strong uptrend. So if you enter the long trade, for example, you can remain in the trade until the color of the Hakenashi candlestick changes from green to red. This allows your profits to run while riding the short-term uptrend. By the way, this strategy also works as a scalping setup. If you learn something new, please hit the like button since it really helps us out. And subscribe to stay up to date with our latest releases. And check out our academy program if you want to further level up your trading. Until next time.